Greetings from the great Trump ball, fellow Rustafarians. More Rust Furnace base building talk today. Not too long ago, I showed you guys the large furnace build I was favoring. You know me, though. What's better than one large furnace in your base than having three? As always, we want to do this in as efficient a way as possible in terms of stone cost. This triangular footprint fits three large furnaces inside a perimeter of 18 exterior wall units. As a rule of thumb, you know, at 300 stone per wall facing, you could throw up one level of perimeter walls for a cost of 5,400 stone per floor. Probably a little less when you factor in doorways. Only cost a buck fifty. Anyway, take a look at what I did with this base footprint. Keep in mind you can put your own spin on it. You don't have to copy exactly what I did. And I'll show you toward the end of the video how you can even expand this space for more security if you want. This is one of three fireman shoots up and down I've built into this space. If you've seen my videos before, you know the deal. Open doors block access to the ladder up. Down is easy, you just jump and slide down the corner. In a perfect world, I'd have more doors coming off the chutes here, but I think you get the idea from the door frames, that's what's intended. No matter, let's go check out the large furnaces room. As you'll see, three large furnaces packed completely inside a small interior space. I use a ladder hatch to get up and down, access to the large furnaces and the uh, tool cupboard, which you're gonna see in the middle of the furnaces. You can quickly churn out vast amounts of metal, sulfur, charcoal, whatever you need without having to ferry materials back and forth outside your base, risking loss to hostile players and hey, it happens a random bear. You get all this in a nice tight footprint, it doesn't cost a tremendous amount of stone to build up. I like it, I think you will too. Let's go back upstairs. As is my usual practice, I don't tend to keep a lot of stuff on the lower levels of my bases. Whether you do or not is up to you, don't take my approach as the only way to go. In a perfect world, even if you do put things down here, I wouldn't put anything important. Here I use the ladder hatch to get up and down to what is the main living area and battlements level of the base. Up we go into what I like to call the Hall of Memes. We're a few days away from the US presidential election, so I have my memes ready for it. Let's take a moment to have a gratuitous look at my memes. By popular demand, you guys wanted more memes, I aim to please. Hope you enjoy them. Apart from that, this is the main living area of the base. The doors around the edge lead to the little fighting boxes I like to make with ladder hatches and doors for defending around the base. You don't have to make those, you could probably just get by with the doors only without the little extensions, but it's up to how you want to play Rust. Build a basic base or spend more time gathering materials to make it more elaborate. A couple of small furnaces up here for smaller jobs. A loot closet where I cram six large boxes with code locks in it. Keep most of the good loot in there. A couple of campfires for cooking and light. Main bed for spawning inside the base. I could stand to close it in some walls maybe. Again, up to you. Here's one of the fighting box ramparts I like to use around the top of bases. Doorways for shooting off to the sides. Doorways for shooting out from the base. You know, ladder hatches for shooting straight down at the ground near the base. This particular configuration with four armored doors and two ladder hatches and six, with six code locks for them costs a little over 3,000 metal fragments and obviously as a solo player that's an investment you may choose not to make that. For small groups and clans it's less of an issue to farm up almost 20,000 metal frags to make all six of the fighting boxes I put in this base design so up to you again. Three tool cupboards inside this base. There's one on level 5 here and two more underneath it on level 3 and level 1. Stacking your tool cupboards is important to make raiders have to expend rockets in C4, finding your upper level cabinets to build up inside your base. That way to gain access to the if they gain access to the level 1 cupboard, they won't be able to build up to level 3 until they can get to the cabinet on level 3. You've seen the base, I guess it's time to show you the basic foundation layout so you can make the base if you choose. This one is pretty simple actually. It's your basic Illuminati triangle base. The only complication is the need to put down large furnaces before you close them in in the foundations. Best way to do it is to get them all nicely lined up. You start with a single triangle and place the first large furnace. You close that in with foundations and do the same with the second large furnace. Place it where it needs to be, then close it in with the triangles around it. Do the same for the last third large furnace. Finish the base foundations. Throw up your exterior walls and doorways as fast as you can. Slap doors with locks in the doorways and drop the tool cupboard inside the base. You've got the start you need. I recommend going up at least two levels before you start closing in a floor or roof so have enough stone on hand to upgrade 36 walls. What's that, about 12,000 stone? Before you log off from starting this base. If you're a solo or small group, maybe you stick with the basic design, but if you want to go crazy or you just have a larger group, you can expand the hell out of this basic footprint easy. Let's have a look at some of what you can do. 
Like any base, you want to surround it on all sides with exterior tool cupboards first and foremost. After that, you know, why not add layers of double stack walls around the edges? Use your imagination. Anyway, I think we've seen enough. Make the base, file it away for later maybe, or if you think it sucks, forget you ever saw it. What do you want me to tell you? Comment on the video if you have experience with large furnace spaces. Please hit like if you enjoyed it, and if you're not already a subscriber of mine, do me a favor, hit that sub button too. Much appreciated. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, this is Kill Cam, and we're done here.